So today is going to be a good one. This is a pet peeve topic of mine and this is why you shouldn't try and relax your bow hand. Something you hear a lot of people say, oh relax your bow hand, your bow hand should be relaxed, completely relaxed. And I'm going to explain today why this is not the case and why you shouldn't try and relax your bow hand. So let's roll the intro and then get to the video. So we've all heard someone say that your bow hand should be relaxed and we've all heard maybe a coach say it as well and we've all you know maybe believe this at some point because when you first start shooting your instinct is to maybe grab the bow so this is where it comes from because people tend to grab the bow then someone might say oh you need to relax your bow hand and there is truth to this there is definitely truth to this and i get it i know why people say that it's basically to stop people gripping the bow and to encourage them to let the bow come out of the hand and that's absolutely fine but as you develop into more you know experienced archer and you're not just grabbing the bow now like a beginner does then it's important to learn why you shouldn't be relaxing the bow hand completely there is a difference to having certain parts of the bow hand relaxed and having the correct parts relaxed and just relaxing the whole thing and losing any direction and purpose with the bow hand and this is what I see a lot of people do when they've been told to completely relax the bow hand, especially younger archers who have been told you need to completely relax the bow hand and then you watch them shoot and there's just no direction on this entire side of the shot because they've just relaxed everything and they've got no connection through to the bow. So that's why I wanted to talk about this. And the first thing to realize is that you do want your hand relaxed in certain places and not in others. So it's key to understand that and understand where you need to be applying direction and purpose with the bow hand. So first of all, let's look at what a relaxed bow hand would look like. And this is why I don't like people when they say, oh, you need to relax the bow hand, it needs to be completely relaxed. Yes, but that's not a good description. It's not very useful for more advanced archers. It's useful if someone is gripping the bow, then yes, tell them, okay, you need to relax the bow hand here, but explain to them the difference between coming here and gripping the bow like this and relaxing certain parts of the bow hand so you get a nice delivery on the shot. So I'll show you with a bow. So if you get the bow and you come here, obviously if you're gripping the bow like this, then yes, you need to relax the fingers here of the bow hand so that you're not gripping the bow. So a common thing would be to say, okay, what you need to do here is you need to not grip the bow with the fingers. So here, that means that if you don't grip the bow with the fingers and you've got the correct position, then you simply let the fingers come back here. And if you keep the fingers curled, this is what you want. Again, here, if you completely relax the bow hand, if I'm here and I completely relax the bow hand, what will happen often is it will just slide around to the side. And this is what you see a lot of when you see a lot of people who've lost the direction in the bow hand and it's kind of just super relaxed in the grip like this and as you can see from here there's no direction you're not directing the the, thing, the thumb and the fingers to the target at all there's no knuckles pulled back you haven't got the nice correct position of the hand and then the position of the pressure point which then delivers the connection through to the shoulder and that's why it doesn't work so you don't just want to have completely relaxed and that's key what you do want is you want the fingers not gripping the bow. That is definite. So you don't want to be gripping the bow like that. You want to be directing the thumb to the target. As I've mentioned countless times before, if you had it completely relaxed, this thumb would be coming off the side here. Can you see that? If your hand is completely relaxed, and this is what you see some archers doing as well, but you want to direct to the, to the target with this thumb. So that's not what you would say is completely relaxed with the fingers and the knuckles as well. You want to make sure that the knuckles are pulled back slightly and they're at a 45 degree angle and they're pulled back slightly and as you can see, the fingers are nicely curled here. And this is not what you would call completely relaxed as well. If it was completely relaxed, it would just be soft and floppy and as you put the bow in the hand, it would be moving around, it wouldn't be good. So it's not what you would say completely relaxed. Also, if you imagine the pressure point into the grip, if you had the hand again completely relaxed, it'd be moving around like this. It's very, you know, able to move. But what you want is when you direct it through like that, 
then you've got the pressure point and you're directing through. My hand isn't what you'd call completely relaxed. When I shoot, my hand would be in this position, directing with the thumb, knuckles back, like that, as the pressure point's in. If I'm in this position now, and I relax my hand, it does this. Do you see the difference? That's what you'd say is a completely relaxed hand, and that's what some people do. And then this is not what you say completely relaxed. I'm using the pressure point, I'm directing with the thumb, knuckles are back, fingers are curled. Some people can also point to the ground slightly with the finger here. Some people like to pinch the grip between their fingers. It depends, but the key thing is not completely relaxed because by saying you need a completely relaxed bow hand, it's just very passive. You're not delivering the bow to the target properly. You're not making the connection to your shoulder and your bow shoulder and your alignment. You're not delivering the, the bow into the 10 every time. So that's why being, you know, thinking of the hand as it must be really relaxed is far too passive. You're not actively doing what you need to on that side of your shot. And that's why I don't like it. And that's why it leads many people astray. And often what it causes is on release, completely relaxed, bow hand is moving like this. You release and it moves that way. You release and it moves that way. It's not consistent. When you've got it good and you're delivering properly on release, it deliver that way. Deliver into the 10, into the target consistently and you'll have a much better connection through your whole arm, through into your shoulder as well. So that's really, really important. So that's been a little quick video. I hope you've enjoyed that. I wanted to make sure that you understand the difference between having the whole hand relaxed completely and making sure you have direction in the correct parts of your hand and improving the delivery of your shot. So as always, be sure to smash that like button if you enjoyed this video and also subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. I'll also put the links to social media down below and thank you for watching and I'll see you next time.